you are still watching Grace. Now, National um, Fourth Nurse Day is observed every year on January 25 to celebrate infusion, nurses, and other healthcare workers whose role are so vital to our society. Though this holiday has been in existence for over 40 years, its importance only becomes more and more evident as the year goes by. These people, Ivy, <laughs> I called it Fort, sorry. It's Ivy. <laughs> I remember one nurse when I was sick. I was in secondary school. How much the woman find the entire? Mm. Ah, those people. Uh, so I now marked her face. The next time I was ill, mm -hmm. I told my mother not that. I don't know that <laughs> because guess what? The second person that came, so people are so good. Mm -hmm. Like once they catch your hand, the vein, you know. You know but when I now, um, when I now went again to the hospital, I told my mother, please, this nurse, she should not come close to me. Because the second person, once she just holds your hand, she's and she's not mm -hmm. using your hand to experiment. This nurse used five minutes. Po, 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 po. She was going, ah, the day no day. The day no day. I say, ah. And you know when you are ill, you're weak, you can't even talk. Yeah. So I was just looking at her. I was just looking at her, but I marked her face. After that, <laughs> never again. But do you have experiences with uh, IV nurses? Oh, yes, I have. Um, um, well, I barely ever fall sick to the point where I have to go to the hospital and then we have to start, except I want to run a test, a blood test, and then we have to get our blood. But then I know that, apart from, so now I'm not even looking at it from that angle, and I'm looking at how much these people make outside mm. of this country. I considered nursing at some point in my life, by the way, because I mean, <laughs> I thought that I could make, <laughs> like, okay, maybe I should. Nursing school, three years, I would just go, you know, by the time I go abroad, I do another two years, I become an RN, and I start making money, but that dream has, it has gone with the wind. But yeah, I mean, I salute nurses because I know that they have, they go through a whole lot, you know, they are working hours, having to take care of sick people, having to go through that every day. I mean, I, I give it to them. So well done to all the nurses Well done out to there. all the nurses. Yeah. Um, Jenny, baby, what did you find first in the news? So Nigeria mandates vaccination for travelers. And following the recent upsurge in COVID-19 cases in China, in Japan, in United States, and other countries, the Nigerian government has announced that international travelers who are coming into nigeria would have to show their vaccination card so basically you have to be vaccinated before you come into our country because it's very important um i think um last week mm. yeah yeah last week i had also taken a uh, covid19 um, news where the cases were increasing mm -hmm. in lagos and around nigeria so i actually applaud our government that they are taking these steps to prevent such cases here because this is like a critical time for a lot of us here in nigeria and i mean election is coming please so we don't want to be challenge sick. i have mm. is that nigeria again is still a bit of a funny place mm. so i did my covid vaccines i did the first and the second doses i have my certificate mm -hmm. and all of that and only for me to start hearing um, people saying that ah, me vaccine care, you know, they have turned it into a racket. People are actually getting the um, fake what's it called? Oh, the fake, the fake. Um, of course, cards, a lot yes. of people refuse to take the vaccine, so they have their, but they have their they have vaccination mm -hmm. cards. So my only worry with that is that. So what I am thinking, whilst I applaud them for doing this, why can we not focus on the preventive measures mm. or the whatever uh, preventive measures yes for COVID? Mm. So the same thing, maybe maybe we should revisit the usage of um, what's it called sanitizers. Mm -hmm. So all those other things, other measures, because if it is for proof that oh there's a vaccination like card, it. it's a very likelihood that the person did not take a vaccination <laughs> but he got a card or she mm. got a card. So I'm just saying you. that. So let, let's let's be more focused on prevention, hygiene, all of those things that we 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 we, we we're just doing before. we were doing before, and we relaxed. Mm. Let's go back to those measures, right? Putting on, putting on your nose mask and all of those things. Maybe that we will really it will be more effective Tomorrow. than just saying you want to re revisit uh, what's it called um, the COVID um, vaccination Vaccine. proof. Yes, mm. that's what I think. I Hello. You. All right, uh, Amazon's workers staged first ever strike in the UK. Huh. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, so it's not only us. 
Okay. Hundreds of Amazon workers in the United Kingdom's warehouse staged a walkout in the first ever strike to reject 50 pence pay rise on Wednesday. I thought that was a very ridiculous amount with which to increase salaries because mm -hmm. I mean if you say you want to use like same in Nigeria now okay the government says oh or let me not use the government now Dagote says he wants to review salaries of his um, empl employees and then he decides to review the salary by let's say 100 naira doesn't make any sense so I'm wondering why Jeff Bezos will allow this happen and say that he's reviewing salaries and then reviewing by 50 pence of course I expect them to strike but then he assured um the um, uk citizens that this is not going to affect deliveries this is not going to affect <laughs> them ordering anything and he also went ahead to say that he has offered them com competitive pay and he does not understand why this tiny proportion of uk's workforce is involved in the strike but then at the same time again it's not going to affect deliveries it is the first time jeff Bezos company's workers have held any industrial action in the uk and the gmb union has applauded them for actually taking up the confidence to go on this strike personally <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why they let it get to this point because i think they could i'm sure they've gone through several um, stages or processes before getting to the point of actually going on the strike and they were actually carrying placards and banners everywhere saying we're not robots so we need to be paid more but it's beautiful to see that people can actually stand up for their rights irrespective of whatever organization or whoever it is that owns the organization in the first place this is something that we also need to learn in nigeria as well so what were they asking for right um pay rise i know of how much they did not see hey, <laughs> thank you for hitting the nail in the head how much you did not you did not specify you said you wanted pay rise they gave you pay rise why 50 pence is ridiculous it does not make sense you see why i said it's better you don't even increase at all now be specific or are they saying 50 pence to a dollar no so that means no you see you're not getting the points eh I've said to you that whatever it is that you want to demand, mm, be, be. be very clear. Say what you want. You understand? Don't mm. come and say pay rise. They've no. given you pay rise. Fair you enough. take it. I mean, I understand. Yes, I you have to be specific. Yeah. Sure. So, so let's let's learn to communicate right. Mm. Oga, this money is not working, right? And this is what we are looking at. Mm. You know, maybe if I was earning thirty pounds per, per hour. hour I'm looking at a 35 pound per hour. This is yeah. not going to be favorable to me. But you just ask for a pay rise. Oh my, the man gave you people 50 pence, and you are saying in a stage what? <laughs> I mean, normally if you ask if 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 you tell anyone you want an increase, people will advise you. Tell them what you're worth. You yes, yeah, that's what you. you want. So if you want 35,000 naira increase or 35,000 dollars increase, then you have to state that and say, okay, this is how much I want it mm -hmm. to be. But 50 mm -hmm. pence? It's I think tough. it was 50 pence per hour. But even <laughs> at that. Even at that, it's ridiculous. You think so? How many yes. hours? Have you calculated how many hours, how many hours, hours you work in a day? I mean, even if they are earning, say, for example, they are earning how many pounds per day now? See, let's say they are earning maybe in a week, they are earning seven days, they are earning <laughs> how many? You know, it will be alright. <laughs> Let me call for my video. Please watch this. <laughs> Yo, back on control, Ije. So, Ije, first lady, we need first any new villa. So I call Corey. You must have felt like you were going to be a young man. You were 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 a young man. Do I want to say anything on this story? again because they told you my because like <laughs> i'm shocked and speechless <laughs> so they've told you people that uh because she's from your side of the town mm. that's the reason you should put up because she too she wants to become a first lady wonderful and i saw that video i said okay i just leave it speechless everybody so hey in local yeah every I mean, local no it's a hey 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 local what it come to become first lady? <laughs> the sheer audacity to wow. actually make a video like that wow. and put it out there. So, like, you know, when I saw the video, I said, I, I said to myself, these people must think Nigeria is a joke. a joke, because you have not told us so many things that you think can advance the country. Mm. 
just the mere fact that I know it's a it's a it's a cut from the full video that you've made that statement. Do you understand? Is why we have a problem in this country. Mm. We must understand that we need to start demanding for better things. That's why I was saying that you have to be clear on your demands. We can't have people like this anymore saying that they want enough, to run for for um, um, le leadership positions. So it's not about whether you're from a particular place or whatever. What do we need in Nigeria today and who will drive that ship? You're telling me because you are from a particular place and it's also you to also you 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 can make me first lady. Really? It's beginning to sound like cheap tense. I'm mm. telling you. You know this this old Nollywood that we used to watch where somebody was king, yeah. father died, and then You're people are trying thing. to argue, oh, I should be the next king because it's my turn. I'm the first son. Now, now, now we see for, for 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 presidency now. Really playing with our lives here. I'm telling you, it's such like let's I was be serious. I was, let's get serious. I was, the joke is enough. Yes, we, we've laughed so much. I don't think I want to laugh anymore. Ha. It's okay. I was literally speechless. <laughs> On that note, we'll take a break. I beg, let's think of how we can make money in 2023. <laughs> That's our conversation. When we come back from the break, stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>